Hey guys, welcome back for another Christmas pajama boxes video. This is a video that I share every year. If you are new here, what we do in our home is the weekend following Thanksgiving when we decorate our Christmas tree. That evening we give our kids a box that has their Christmas pajamas to enjoy for the season, an ornament um, to put on the tree. It's the first ornament we put on the tree when we're decorating it that night. Usually like some hot cocoa or Christmassy snacks and books to enjoy for the holiday season. Um, and so this year is no different. We always have a little bit of this and that in there, some candy and things like that. Just something for them to enjoy and get excited for the Christmas season um, and so this year I'm gonna share once again what's in my five kids boxes as well as our dog I, I get one for my dog too for my kids you know um, their pajamas that I picked out the ornaments I picked all the books I picked and then this year is different um, and I'm giving my kids advent calendars this year that night as well We'll start them on the first, but usually I'm not the one who gives them their advent calendars. My mom was always the one who did that. This is our first Christmas without her, so I went ahead and got them all some fun advent calendars, um, edible, all edible things, so we don't have like, you know, little doodads times five around our house every day. But, um, I got them advent calendars this year, so I'll show those to you as well. And if you want to see other fun Christmas content, I've already got a couple of videos up this season, so I will link those up here in the corner and in the description box down below. So I did a Christmas haul and a book haul. Um, so this is actually like the third Christmas themed video for the year, which is wild. But I always try to get this video to you guys before Thanksgiving in case you want to grab any of this as well. And if you follow this tradition as well, I heard about this years ago. Um, giving your kids like some popcorn and hot chocolate and Christmas pajamas on Christmas Eve. And I decided that Christmas Eve was just way too late in the season for us because we like to enjoy our Christmas pajamas and books all season long. So um, this is probably like our eighth year doing this. Um, and I've shared with you guys for a lot of those years. So if you want to see the other videos that I've done year to year, I will link those in the description box down below and you can take a trip down memory lane. So. Uh, here we go. I'm going to flip the camera around, show you everything that's in my kids' pajama boxes, and I always have to film this video at nighttime, so excuse the lighting, but I have to do it when my kids can't hear. So here we go. Here's what's in their Christmas pajama boxes 2023. All right, here's what we've got going on. I'm going to start with our one-year-old, um, so I'll go in age order. So all of my kids this year, I got them Bucky's ornaments because... We have gone, we, Bucky's is, there's a Bucky's in Jacksonville. So anytime we leave the state, we tend to drive by a Bucky's and stop there. And my kids absolutely love it. It's just their favorite place to go on road trips now. And we went so many times this year because we were in and out of Florida quite a bit this year. So this was definitely a Bucky's year. So I got Josephine this classic Bucky's ornament because every time she would see this yellow sign she would be like ball ball every time we were inside the store because she loves to play with like bouncy balls so i just wanted to get this classic looking bucky's sign for her to remind me of that year um next I got her this, this is her book. It's this Away in a Manger playbook. I got it at Smocked Auctions. And it's just a little, if you can remember for Easter this year, I got her the first Bible playbook with these little removable pieces. So this is just an interactive, soft little book about the manger. So I got her that. Um, I got each of my kids an activity book as well. So for her, because she can't really do an activity book, I got her this Water Wonders Christmas book, which this is a book where you um, paint with water on these white spots and they show up and then they dry and turn white again. So she's very active, always wants to color and paint with us. So I thought she would love this one. And then I actually got her a second book as well. Um, a second or a third book. Um, it's the That's Not My Christmas Tree and she loves the That's Not My books from Usborne Paper Pie. And so this one, um, it's their textured books. So every page is like, that's not my Christmas tree, it's too prickly. That's not my Christmas tree, it's decorations are too sparkly. If you're familiar with the That's Not My series, um, this one's just a little larger than the, the other books, but it's her favorite book. She grabs all of those books and carries them around throughout the day. And then on the end, it the tree lights up. So I know she's gonna absolutely just go crazy for that. I also got them each a hot cocoa stir stick from Home Goods. some... 
um, candy canes. I, these are um, Yum Earth candy canes that I just got at the grocery store. I got her just one of them because she's little. And then um, I also gave her one candy kiss. And then for my girls this year, I actually changed it up this year, guys. This is new for me. Usually I do, I feel like that's a little better, um, all the same pajamas for everyone. But this year I got the girls all these little nightgowns from Shrimp and Grits. This is from their Serendipity line and they're so soft. I have a link for you guys if you want to go um, on their website. They have quite a few of these soft serendipity pajamas and nightgowns, family matching pajamas. They had, I think, a Polar Express one and then just a classic Christmas toy looking one. They're so sweet and just classic looking pajamas, really high quality, well made. And um, so I got her this and this nightgown is going to probably like touch the floor. I got it. Um, she's right in between sizes. So that is her box. So next in age would be over here, my six year old. So for little Annie, she's got some candy kisses. They all have some candy kisses as well as oh, just the Chicago just came out in me um, as well as candy canes um, and the hot cocoa stir sticks. They each got a Christmas can of Pringles and um, a bath bomb as well. So for her, I got this elf bomb. I got them all the De, De Bomb bath bombs. I usually put these in their stockings, but I saw the holiday ones this year. They're just a little bath fizzer with a surprise inside. So I thought that would be a fun treat to go along with their pajamas. Um, this is the little Bucky's. Um, ornament that I got for her. I, it's weird, like the tra the ornament tradition. I know some people go super sentimental. I've done that some years as well, but this year Bucky's just felt like the right fun fit. I also got her the same pajamas from Shrimp and Grits, that serendipity line. And I also love these because living in South Florida, it's just hot here. Um, and these are, these are long sleeved, but they're so light and soft. And I think it's because this brand, I believe it, they're out of Charleston. They're also a more Southern, um, brand. And so for like fall, a lot of the things that I got, little rompers and things were shorts and not thick and long sleeves. Same for a lot of the Christmas outfits that I got for my girls from there. So I knew their pajamas were the way to go for them because they're so light, but also adorable. Um, her activity book is this fingerprint Christmas activity. She loves these fingerprint books. So it comes with a little ink pad on the side and then you use your fingerprints to do different scenes. So I thought that that was really cute and she hasn't done one of these books in a quite, a, quite a bit of time, maybe even almost a year. So she'll enjoy this and she can do this mostly on her own now. And then I got all four of my older kids, obviously everyone except for the baby. Although I guess the Away in the Manger playbook is like a baby devotional. <laughs> but for their regular book this year, I got them each some kind of Advent devotional book to do instead of just a picture book. So I got her this Unwrapping the Names of Jesus for Kids because in the month of December for our Christmas homeschooling, instead of doing our normal Bible journaling in the mornings like we normally do, I thought I would have them each do a Christmas devotional in the morning. So this will serve two purposes. One, it's the book they're being gifted and two, it's um, something we'll be using in school. So this has a different name on each page as well as following a story all the way through. So that is hers. Moving on from there to my younger son, Eli, who will be 10 the weekend that he gets this box. So um, he turns 10 on Thanksgiving this year. Same deal, some kisses, hot cocoa, and some candy canes. He has these cheddar cheese Pringles. I honestly don't know what kind of Pringles each of my kids will like, so I just kind of went by the design on the can. I have never, well, I shouldn't say never, but I, I don't typically purchase Pringles in our snack containers. I went looking for like the seasonal goldfish because they all like goldfish and I know they have decorative containers as well, but our grocery store didn't have those. They did have the Pringles though. And I know that they like Pringles because they'll get them when they're like at karate or at a vending machine or something, but I've actually never grabbed them for them. So I don't know what kind they all like. So I just went with the designs on the front. So. They might do some trading, but I'm assuming he'll like the cheddar cheese one. 
And then he really loves snow globes, so I got him the snow globe buckies. Thankfully, there were five different designs of these ornaments, and I needed five of them. So that's his. And they were all like five dollars. Yeah. Okay. He got the Nutcracker bomb. For my boys, I got them the Hannah Anderson pajamas. Um, so I thought this was more of a masculine print. So that's one of the reasons I didn't want to get my kids all matching ones this year. And there were no other Hannah jams that I just really loved this year. Um, so I got those for them. I mean, as far as having some that they would all match. Like last year we did the Grinch, which I loved and they all still have them. Um, this year I went with this. And then I got him this Mad Libs as his Christmas activity book and it's a really thick one. It's got a hundred Mad Libs and he is just in a Mad Libs stage right now. Um, and then for him, he has the Action Bible. So I got him the Action Bible Christmas 25 stories about Jesus's arrival. So this one has the Action Bible style illustrations and then a different story every day. Moving on to my older son who's 12 he just recently turned 12 for him same deal the candy candy canes hot cocoa i got him this one my husband's truck is red and so he likes to go to work with him a lot which is the reason i chose this one whether or not they'll pick up on any of the sentiment it doesn't really matter but it's the, how i made my decisions um so he's got that bucky's ornament Barbecue Pringles. I actually do know he'll love those because he loves barbecue. Um, the Rudolph Balm. It, he's a 12-year-old boy, so it's a. I don't even know if he'll be willing to take a bath. <laughs> he's a shower kid, but we'll see. Um, and then I got him this Unwrapping the Names of Jesus devotional. He um, really loves to study the Word, and he listens to the Bible every night as he's going to sleep. He's constantly asking questions when we're doing Bible study. Um, he's really into studying the Bible in depth. So I actually thought that he would love this most of all out of all of my kids because I think it's really neat to understand all the layers behind the names of God. So this is um, his devotional that I got for him. Same pajamas, these um, uh, like hunter green Hannah jams. And then he got the Mad Libs, all I want for Christmas Mad Libs. Um, the other Mad Libs for my other son were the Holly Jolly Mad Libs. They're both just big Mad Libs that have like 100 in there. So that's for him. And then my oldest child is my 14 year old daughter. She got this one, um, this, uh, Bucky's ornament um, and then I got her the snowman bomb which this one is chili breeze scented same thing candies hot cocoa her pajamas is um, for her from that same shrimp and grits line that I got my younger kids their pajamas hers I got the adult ones from the family matching pajamas instead of like a very childlike nightgown I got her the lounge set so she'll use them as pajamas but they're just basically long sleeve and pants and they're so light again um, and they're just so comfortable. I actually am considering buying a pair for myself. I think I will. I'll check and see if they still have my size in stock because they're so comfortable. I just can't explain it. You have to, they remind me very much of like the Kite brand pajamas, the like bamboo ones that um, I buy for my daughter. They're just light and soft and comfortable so i got her the lounge set so it's just long sleeve long pants but it's very flowy it's not tight like the hannah jams are that i usually get for her and then her activity book is this emily lex watercolor workbook um so if you go i'll link her website below but my daughter loves art and she loves watercolor i got one of these for myself as well so this one is on one page, it'll give you a tutorial on how to basically color in uh, with watercolor. 
each picture and then on the second page it gives you a chance to practice your sketching and painting and then I believe there's 10 different designs in here so um, are there? yeah there they are they're on the back there and then actually for under the Christmas tree I got her the wildflowers I think it is um, from her studio as well so I know she's gonna absolutely love this I think watercolor workbooks are like the neatest thing and then her book is this One Great Love, An Advent and Christmas Treasury of Readings, Poems, and Prayers. So this one, I don't believe, uh, it doesn't have like 25 days in it, but it's just got, it's a collection of poems, songs, and stories. And she is very sentimental and just loves all the nostalgia of the Christmas season and appreciates the beauty of some of these the classic literature. So I thought she would really enjoy this. I thought it was so neat that it also had paintings and some of these um, pictures we've already studied in our homeschool. So I kind of wanted this for myself too, but I know she'll love it. <laughs> so that is what I got for her. And then of course our dog, um, I got him the same pajamas as the boys because according to them, he's like one of the boys. And then I just got him these um, holiday treats. Usually I get him like a Christmas, um, like a uh, chew toy or something, but he's just like intense with toys. So I haven't been getting him any chew toys lately because he absolutely destroys them. So that is what is in my kids' Christmas pajama boxes. I'm gonna get all this packed away and then I'll show you what their advent calendars are this year. Home stretch here, um, other fun thing they'll be getting on our pajama night and also the adults will be getting on their, on our Christmas pajama night. Um, I, my dad and my sister will probably be over on Christmas pajama night. Um, so I got them each advent calendars as well as my husband. So everyone, and I obviously got one for myself too. Um, so everyone will have an advent calendar. Nobody leaves empty handed, so everyone will get one. Um, but I can't show you theirs because my sister would totally watch this video just to find out what I got her. So, um, for my kids, like I said, I got them all an edible advent calendar because like the Lego ones are so fun and there's like some book ones and I love it, but times five kids, that's like so many little pieces around the house that I just don't have the mental capacity to handle. So. We'll start, well, Josephine, we'll start with our, my youngest. So Josie doesn't have an advent calendar because she wouldn't understand the concept. <clears throat> so I just got her the Little People Nativity, which is something that we've had before um, for, I think I got it for Jesse or Eli when they were little, but eventually it ended up in the bathtub and the pieces all got that, you know, like soap scum in it. So we, it's a repurchase this year. So this is for Josephine, my one-year-old, one-and-a-half-year-old. She'll be 18 months by Christmas. Um, and then Annabeth, I got her this Sugar Fina Santa's Candy Shop, which is adorable. Um, and somebody commented on the video that I put. Oh, I thought that was, like, I didn't realize I could. I thought, oh, it was the gloss on the front. Um. Uh, somebody commented about the price and this one is I think it's like 40 or 50 dollars however when you order from Sugarfina it's very easy to find 20 percent coupon codes as well as um, sale items so when I purchased this it was already um, on sale as a pre-order because I purchased it back in September and then on top of it I had a couple of coupon codes so I um I didn't pay that much for it but I'm sure this late in the game it's probably on sale. I would I would assume that there's a sale price on this if you go on their website. So this is fun because it just has little, um, each little box has a different one of their candies that people um, love throughout the year. So some gummy Santa's trees and then like box number nine, what is this one? Has petite strawberries. I don't know if you can see again my lighting's really wonky um what's in day one there were like some chocolate chip cookie dough by oh yeah that's this one chocolate covered cookie dough so really fun little treats little samplings of their um some of their best sellers as well and the box is just so cute here are here's the to the list of all the different candies that they have in here 
I love little sprinkle donuts. I think those are so cute. For um, my girls' dance teachers this year, I got them each the Nutcracker bento box that they had from Sugar Phoenix. They had a good deal on that as well. So lots of really cute things on their website. Um, so that's my two younger girls. For my son, Eli, originally I got him the Williams Sonoma Grinch advent calendar but it was back ordered and then he doesn't love like the chocolates as much so then I found this this is the Dylan's candy bar sweets advent calendar and we've never gotten any candy from there but I'm assuming it's good <laughs> um, and mostly it's just a candy calendar that's different from everyone else's um, so this one had like more of the sour things. Oh yeah, here it is. Candy canes, which he actually loves. And it, these are like the rainbow colorful ones. Gumdrops, snowman marshmallows, sour Christmas tree gummies, and sour Santa gummies. So I thought he would love that. I know he would. Um, so I got him that one. For Jesse, who loves hot chocolate and loves using the Keurig, I got him this 24 cups of cocoa which is 24 cups compatible with Keurigs and most single style brewers. Um, so this one has all different types of hot cocoa. This one's from World Market and um, he's gonna absolutely love this. It's got like gingerbread hot chocolate cocoa, peppermint, um, vanilla, raspberry, um, cinnamon nut, Irish cream, hazelnut cream, mocha, cocoa, all sorts of different flavors. My other son likes hot cocoa as well, and originally I was gonna get him two, I was gonna get two of these, one for each of them, but he is just really not that adventurous with hot chocolate, so I'd have to just get him literally hot chocolate, <laughs> like 24 cups of hot chocolate. So we went with candy instead. Um, I also grabbed these. Oh, I meant to show these with the pajama boxes. These are the cups I have for them on the night we decorate the tree. This was from, where was it from? Home Goods. And then last but not least, Bella has the 24 days of tea from David's Tea. I also have one. Um, uh, this is the one I get every year and she always asks for some of it. This is mine that I'm opening now. Um, but I have another one in my room hidden. And I also got this one for my grandmother because my mom used to always get one for her. And then I bought one for my aunt as well because it's like tradition that she and I text each other but each sometimes morning. Sometimes she texts me too early and then I'm like annoyed. I'm like, Aunt Sue, I haven't even gotten out of bed yet. So um, these are, oh wait, I don't want to show. I don't want to show because I don't want to know, but I, I'll pick a random day. Okay, day five, I'll forget by the fifth. Um, I love the quality of these. It's loose leaf tea. This one is uh, mm, strawberry rhubarb parfait. I always end up ordering some from the website after Christmas because it's like a really nice way to sample their tea. And David's tea is my favorite tea. I'm hooked on their s'mores chai right now. And their white pumpkin is incredible. Those are the two that I'm um, enjoying this fall. But... I have all of their perfect spoons and their tea steeper and all of that. So um, each one makes a 16 ounce mug or two eight ounce cups of tea. So it's a bunch of different flavors. They're so good. Like I said, there are some new ones each year and then some classics. I love like the candy cane one. Um, so that is what so I got. That is daughter. the advent calendar I got for my daughter and she's gonna flip out because she probably doesn't expect to be getting one of these this year. Um, I love it. Like I said, she's seen me have them for like the last five years. And so now she has her own. So those are the advent calendars for my kids, all of their Christmas pajama boxes. And that is how we are kicking off the Christmas season here in our home. Um, I will put everything that I can um, linked in the description box down below for you guys. If you want to grab any of this for your family, thank you guys for watching this video year to year. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you guys do anything fun like this for your family, I always love new ideas. I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.